turn that down. Okay, we should be up and running. Um, <clears throat> all right, everybody. Uh, welcome to a brand new Let's Play, The Outer Worlds. Now, listen here. First and foremost, I've played this game before. It's a fantastic game, as you can see. Continue, but we're gonna do new game. And uh, let me just tell you, last night. We're just going to go to uh, use this mode if you enjoy the story mode more than combat. This is the recommended mode for first play. You know what? We're just going to do normal mode. Um, conversation subtitles. Showback subtitles. Show cinematic subtitles. And then, uh, we're going to bump up the text size. Just so you guys can kind of read it better. Yeah. Okay, uh, last night I had a very, very rough night. Uh, I drank a little bit too much. And, uh, yeah. Had a lot of beer. A lot of Jaeger bombs. When prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Cinematics in this game. <laughs> Strength. I'm going to go um, normal. Dexterity. Ranged weapons. Um, intelligence. We're going to go... Good. Perception, we're going to go good. Charm, we're going to go good. Temperament, we're going to go good. Um, it's intelligence, yeah, critical damage. Handguns, long guns. Yeah, we're going to go high on perception and high on charm. And strength and dexterity are fine. Uh, well, I don't know. I should have went high. Temperament. Dexterity, we got lockpick, uh, one-handed melee, handguns. That one goes like all the guns, and lockpick, and engineering. So you know what? Uh, we're going to go good on temperament. And this is going to be our starting stats. Our skills, we're going to go points available. We got uh, two points available. Uh, you are going to paint the system we're going to do my ranged friend. we should do dialogue because dialogue is a big thing in here um, stealth I just like the lockpick our lockpick's already 13 so uh, dialogue is dialogues dialogue's a big thing in this game Someone so we're going to go dialogue exploiting insecurities. And then uh, let's go to next. Aptitude. Uh, determination. Drink effect. Duration. Block. Persuade. Shock damage. 
received is negative engineering dodge in ray damage food effect corrosion damage inspiration medical plasma damage science one-handed melee i think i'm gonna go engineering but you know in in real life i'm an electric so this is like a electrician class guy which should be under engineering but i guess you know as an electrician i get shocked all the time so my shock damage in real life is negative because i i don't even like really feel it anymore i guess the elevator operator specialist would be good to the science would be good um safety inspector i've done safety inspection as well um foreman yeah i've been a foreman uh, i've never worked in a factory i've worked around factories I guess I'm on elevators, so um, Not much yeah, we're gonna do engineering. And our appearance here, we're gonna go male, and our face, we get to kind of customize it. We're just gonna pick out one of the randomly generated faces, and we're gonna keep it that uh, one that looks closest to mine. I guess like this one here um, and then all this you can customize hairstyle let's go that one's probably closest to mine right now hey look it's my nephew's hairstyle <laughs> I used to have hair like this and I, I'm growing my hair back out, so uh, let's get it to the one that's like closest to mine right now, which would be kind of like this one here. Hair color. Let's go find a blonde color. Um, that one. Yeah, this one. Mine hair is kind of like a golden blonde. Eyebrow style. Does it really freaking matter? I don't guess so. But uh, I have a very unique scar on my right eyebrow. Right at the edge of my eyebrow that causes one of my eye, like a lot of my hair not to grow there. Um, my cousin actually hit me in the face with a, uh, with like a, a bat with a screw in the end of it. It was actually a chair leg, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I've got a lot of a lot of stories. My beard is actually darker than my hair. So something like that. Features, makeup, dirt, scar. Can I get a scar on my eyebrow? No. I have other scars on my face, but... Yeah, I've got a scar right, well, not that fucking big. I do have a scar right beside my... And then we could age him up. Listen, I don't think I look that old. I'm only 28. Okay, now this is our character. Boom. Our name for said character. What's it going to be? Well, you guys know it's going to be Cody. Oops. Cody from Some Guys Gaming. Um, let's go next. And this is our starting stats and our starting everything. So I think we're going to be pretty good. Basic skill unlocked. We got 20 on unlock power and sweep attacks. 40 competent unlock TTD locations hit effects. Oh, that's just... That's just what we, what we got. Okay. Novice. So our handgun, we're at a novice level. Our long gun, novice level. Uh, lie, persuade, intimidate. It's a novice. 
Our lock pick is eh, almost a novice. Our sneak. Listen, I'm not a sneak kind of guy. Yes, we're going to start the game as this character. I'm more like go in there, guns blazing, day, fuck up. Friend. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Do it. Oops, sorry, you guys probably heard that. My chair squeaks. I love the opening in this game because it's so unique how you like choose how you can you know, he chooses your character, and, you know, it's, I just like how this game starts out. I like this game all around in general. If you guys don't know, this game's made by Obsidian, who uh, made Fallout New Vegas, and this game is a lot similar to New Vegas in terms, it's a lot similar to Fallout, it's like Fallout in space. On, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, Good lord. Reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. <laughs> Game has... You know, dialogue and story is a big part of this game, but also a bit of comedy thrown in there, and uh, the relationships you can make with companions and with different factions and stuff is a big part of the. And, and yeah, I love games like this have that sort of uh, style to them. I love story-driven games, and I love you know, like Fallout is one of my game series because it's a story. And you have different factions and stuff like that. Ah, this is are. a lot like now, that. Where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm appreciated, dude. Colonists are counting on you. So that's the main goal of the game is to uh, help this guy out. But then of course you have to do you have to do this to do that and then to do that you have to do this and then you know it it all cul culminates into like one big cohesive story um and oh, you're trying to save dog. your fellow close by. What is, uh, uh, is that him oh that idiot i told him to plant the beacon and move away not stand there holding it oh well no sense in letting his ship go to waste yeah. We killed him. won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. 
shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yeah. I guess B is to crouch. <laughs> Games nowadays are very intuitive. I've got to change my stream handle. Whoa. Bitch. I'm going to take this Adreno. Which I guess is... Adrenaline. Hold on, guys. I gotta change my stream overlay. Okay. Sorry. Had to change my stream overlay. It was over my... It was over my um, health bar instead of being where it needed to be. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh! Come here. You've tried the best now. So now good. try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. You can tell this guy is still. It is like a fallout thing. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Hey, you're good, dude. You're good. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by that the would be Marauders come sniffing around in here. Whatever his I name was. All out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, I'm going to persuade okay. him. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the... Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> the Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. Okay, we got our first gun. Um, is there anything? Any kind of... Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Damage my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation, your brain possesses time differently. Possessing the tactical time dilation, TTT button, uh, allows you to slow down the world, give you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. RB is tactical time dilation. Get 
Good lord. Man, it's been a while since I played a shooter. Like, a while since I played a shooter. Hacking and picking locks. Um, okay. To pick up egg, pick up some bananas, some of that. My lock picking skill is not high enough. Oh, yes. 13 out of 15. 2 out of 4. Yeah, I, I don't have what's required. I'm just picking up everything. Listen, I'm the type of guy where, like, seriously, I fucking pick up everything. All right, we got three out of four. There should be one more stashed around here. Not unless it's on this guy's body. No. And then if we press uh, back, we can go into our weapon management. Um... Inventory. What? What did I just pick up? Did Did I just pick up? I thought I just picked up a. There we go. Armor management. Yeah. Boom. Now looking like Isaac from Dead Space. There should be one more around here. They wouldn't give you a damn tutorial, and this thing without having. Well, I don't know. I may have blown it off into fucking no no man's land or something. Right, we got a few marauders here. Boom. It's been a long time since I've played a shooter, so bear with me. Bear with me. I'll take this. I'll take... Oh, I didn't really mean to pick up that light pistol, but... Oh, well. I just wanted to pick up the ammo. I don't, I don't remember if guns have duration on here. So I don't remember if I need to keep picking up the same weapon that I that I've been picking up or what. Lieutenant. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. I'm good. Shit, bitch. I'm good. Don't know where you came from, stranger, you are but you really tall. Keep your head down. There's marauders here about landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just the landing violation. Let it go. So I heard you're one of the teammates hold up in case. I heard. Really? I found one of your teammates. How is he? I'll make it. I hope. Still a moron. I'm hoping you're Shouldn't a little brighter. That. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Oh, Just shut up. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Yeah, okay. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you can get those marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Intimidate. I guess I'll have to give you a zero customer service uh, satisfaction. Let's go ahead and try to persuade her. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. I just did that so I can get some help with these guys. 
See the AI in this game. Oh my god. You just killed your own teammate. Fucking spacer's choice is the best. You killed him. I'm gonna pick up the damn armor though. I can't believe that. Did you guys, I mean, she just like straight up fucking murdered her teammate. I like how you can look at the damn. You straight up murdered him in cold blood. What did he, did he like sleep with your man or something? Or like... I mean, did he did he piss you off at dinner? This Spacer's is choice. Take a lot of paperwork. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Well, let's just see if I can get it open for you. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> Unauthorized access of Spacer. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Um, not here to misappropriate. I detect an anything. elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare ah. yourself for lethal deterrence. No, don't. You are still here. My deception failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh, it's okay. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than. Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, Hawthorne's fucking dead. The captain's I a understand. red smear under my escape pod. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Mm, I think I get it. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine <laughs> is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power That's all good. has been irreparably damaged I can fix it. and must be replaced. Or am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering 5. I doubt I'll find a part like that. Just sit in the garage. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to okay. lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you. Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, we gotta level up. Let's get some skills and... Um... All right, so now we can, uh, we can maybe stealth. No, no, not stealth. No, no, hold on. Revert. Well, we'll put one in stealth. Put two in leadership. Oh, I guess lock picks up. Fourteen. There's that. Uh, there's that. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
And let's get some more in dialogue. Let's get uh, one in defense. And we're just going to apply. Okay, awesome. So now we have a... Uh... Alright, let's look at our inventory here. We got some different armors that we can use. You know what, I think I like this. And then uh, the rest we can just break down for some armor parts. Journal, Stranger in Strange Land, we don't really need to worry about that. We can go to the codex and look at all this, but I'm not really... Oh, perks. I need to do some perks. Alright, what's our perks? Toughness. 50% uh, base health gain. That's pretty good. Vendor prices are down 20%. That's good. 50% from all companion kills, experience, uh, damage when alone. That's like a lone wolf perk, yeah. Strider, walk speed, tactical dilation, sprint, speed, companion critical hit. We are going to go with this as of now. Oh, and we're going to apply Boom. Because the damn health is pretty, pretty uh, critical that we stay alive. Say, I'm not. this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to I told you dialogue manager, is Constable Reyes in Edgewater. A big Edgewater's part of this game. So putting over past the cemetery. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care of leaves conservatively. <laughs> um, so dialogue is a big, big part of this game. So putting a lot of points and a lot of emphasis on your dialogue makes this game. Um, it opens this game up in a lot of ways. There's a Marauder camp up there. I'm gonna go and it looks like a Marauder camp, some kind of camp. But I'm gonna go up here and kind of fuck them up. Yep. Bam. Ah! Come on. Come on. Damn, that bitch had a lot of health. Weapons and armor. See, I thought they might. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. See, that's our melee, but how do I use the saber? I can't remember. Oops. Sorry. Item repair. Yes, okay. So we can repair our, our shit. Light pistol. Light pistol 1-3... 10 DPS. Oh, and then we're going to just, um, how do I? How do I de equip it? Oh, let's break, break it down. Repair swap with this one. All right, here. Options. Swap with that. So now I can... I don't want this gun anymore. Yeah, it's the exact same. And then... Yeah. 
Damn it, I did it again. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, it should be good here. I'll take that. Take that. Reconditioned exo helmet. Ooh. The fuck are you, dude? Gravel. I love all of the designs in this world. It's just, I think they're neat. I mean, we could take that and sell it later for some. Whatever the currency is here. Didn't I kill two guys? Oh, yeah, he's right here. What do you got for me? Bit cartridges, light ammo, and necklace. Okay. So now I can go over here. Boop. That's a pretty cool look. And then I'll just break down this one. Yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty damn awesome right now. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. When you live in harmony. Or however that song goes. Listen here, guys. I'm still a little drunk. Can we pick a flower? I kept seeing something pop up on my... Oh, well. <coughs> uh. Oh. Hey, well, where'd you come from? Your mom's house? Ha! Ah. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Bitch, I'll just slap him in the face with my dick. You How talk do you know I'm not for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe <laughs> out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Never got your name. I'm Cody. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Why well, you got a pair of armed guards? You know what? So we can't say that we're the captain of the Unreliable. Your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I'm I mean, we are. Horses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Place looks like it's falling to pieces. Looking to make a little money. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up okay. in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously okay. ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I do what I want. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. I keep my nose that includes filled with the cemetery. white powder. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. When you collect who owes you, I can do that. Making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect the fees? Let me ask you about something else. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Listen, if I need some more money, I'll come back and do that guy's quest. But as of right now... Whoa. It's so cool. This game is, is so cool. This is a power regulator. <laughs> yeah, this game is, is absolutely awesome. And uh, you know what? We made it to Edgewater. Uh, we might stop this episode here. Like I said, I'm hungover as all kinds of hell. My head's hurting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And, yeah, you know, hopefully I'm it's still kind of entertaining when I'm hung, hung over. But I hope you guys like this game. I, I'm hoping to do a full Let's Play of it. I know Corey is playing through this game right now, too, but he's not uh, doing a Let's Play. He's just playing through it or, you know. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it probably won't get a lot of views. 
my videos don't get a lot of views. Edgewater discovered. Hail to the yay, 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 hail. Place looks like shit. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're going to end it right here. Um, before I go to like start the next part of the story or whatever. We're going to end it right here. What up? know you. I'm Cody. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Excuse me. I'm Cody. Amelia Kim. Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Are you? Something's going on here that I should know about. Charm. And what a fine establishment it is. Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. You want to know me? If you're me? gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Deserters? <sighs> Traitors, the lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Go ahead. <laughs> What's your story? What if I told you I got shot in the space by a crazy scientist? I was wondering anything about the hope. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. <laughs> so, you know, I wish it was a joke. Honestly, I don't even know where I am. I'm not joking. My space pod landed in the hills on top of a guy. In that case, let me see what's on tap. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're afraid clear. to go outside. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. Okay. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Suppose we got, we've all got jobs to do. I think. Fine, I'll Let's drop it. You do. I've said enough. Amelia. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. That should go. So you know, like everybody. Well, not everybody, but uh, you know, most people you can talk to, and they all have lines of dialogue and stuff, which I think is really cool. Um, like I could walk up to these guys, resident, resident, you know, just unknown residents and just talk to them. And, you know, they might s say something that, you know, sheds a little bit of light on this place. So this, this game is incredible. The, the, it, the looks are beautiful. You know, the graphics are great. The gameplay is fun. And we're going to end it right here on this beautiful shot of, Edgewater Town and uh, Saturn or a Saturn-esque looking planet with some rings. Beautiful, beautiful game. And in the next episode, we're going to be getting into more of the meat and potatoes. We're going to be talking to Reed and we're going to be um, meeting up with the deserters and we're going to be making our first uh, choice on which faction to join in this crazy little town of Edgewater. 
All right, as always, I'm Cody from Some Guys Gaming, your one-stop shop for everything awesome. If you would, hit the subscribe button. really helps us out. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next episode of Outer World. I'm going to go take a nap and sleep off this hangover.